knew about death before I could talk. Writer Lizzie Miles faces death head on every day. She's a volunteer for hospice, lost many of her family members before she was even a teenager, and her mother died in 2004. Death has been part of the family household conversation for as long as I can remember. But now she wants others to talk about it, to get out of their comfort zones and tackle the inevitable. We're less accepting of death over the past 100 years, and that made me think, well, how can we help people become more accepting of death? And I think part of it is death awareness and talking about it. So on July 19th, she is hosting the country's first ever death cafe, a safe place for people to meet and talk about their fears, concerns, or opinions. Kim Ogle is already signed up. It's the one thing that we are all are guaranteed is going to happen to us. 100% of us are going to die someday. Having our loved ones know what our wishes are uh, when we die, that's so helpful. And Kim has seen the need for conversation firsthand. I worked in the funeral home for over 12 years, and people whose loved ones were dying under hospice care, and they still didn't want to talk about dying. But don't think the cafe is all about the end. Lizzie and Kim both want this event to bring clarity so people can enjoy the now. It's talking about death, but it's really bringing you back to life. And it's not about the actual dying. It's about helping each other, and it's about enjoying each and every day. Taking a taboo topic and putting it to rest.